Hey guys, y'all like the circus? Well, welcome to my circus. This is going to be a real circus. Look, you see this guitar? This is a three-quarter size guitar. Remember the hobo junk pile? Where's my pointer? We're going to give you a link to that episode right there, right now, because this one is going to freak you out. Hey, do you remember the jamboree junk pile? You thought that was bad. You haven't seen anything yet. We are going to take, I'm leaning over here to get all my scrap apparatus. We are going to take a perfectly, pretty much useless but nice, three-quarter size acoustic guitar. No F-holes, so hey, it doesn't really matter. If you don't have F-holes, don't know what to tell you. Anyway, we're going to take this guitar, and we're going to take some secret ingredients that you've seen before. That's right. The Ronnie McDonnie slash... Mango sunburst, and then the secret ingredient, window and door insulation foam. And we're going to take this guitar and render it completely useless, but turn it into the most wonderful thing you have ever seen. So step by step, did I give you a link to the Ibanez Jamboree Junk Pile? Yeah, I talk slow, so there's enough room between those I cards right up there. Anyway, let's get to the bench. I'm going to deface this thing right in front of your eyes, and at the end, you're going to go, ooh, ah, who's the clown now, Padness? Okay, go. the first thing we're going to do is take everything off of this guitar. And I mean everything. Here we go. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. We are going to go into my portfolio of sandpaper, Ooh, ah. and we are going to get out some 100 grit paper. We're going to take a scraper, and we're going to very uncarefully get rid of this farce of a lie that says steel reinforced neck, because we know that that is not true. Be careful of that nut because it will come right off. Anyway, I hope I don't scratch up the surface of the headstock with this putty knife because if I put scratches in it with the putty knife, then I will not be able to completely ruin it with this 100 grit sandpaper like so. Notice I'm going not with the grain. Do you see that? And then we're going to turn this on its side. And we're going to mess it up here and there. And mess it up everywhere where you would think Dr. Seuss wrote this right here. Anyway, we're going to go over this whole thing and completely and utterly, disamazingly mess it up like that. I'll catch up with you in a minute once I've had a chance to destroy all of it. Now, before we completely destroy the body like we have the headstock, we are going to tape off the nut and fingerboard. There may be something redeeming about this guitar in its current condition, however remote that may seem. I'm just going to do that, like so. We're going to go around and do it on the other side. I'm sure that you could see what we did from that time, unless I need to repeat it for you. All right, there we go. Look at that. Clean one owner. All right, it is really, really important that when you are going to ruin the finish on a guitar, that you do it uniformly and efficiently. So we will use this block of wood that goes all the way across the body and that has 400 grit sandpaper with sticky on one side on here. And we will just trash the back of this guitar. How ruined it is. You notice that I'm going against the grain. This is why they call me the 
fake root beer. Go so check it out. I got a little bit more destruction to do here. I don't want to miss anywhere. And I want to leave everything equally devastated. There we go. Ruining the sides of the guitar because it's curved. So you take the sanding sponge, you push down on it, anything but gently, and you just do this plenty. You know, in circus and in clown world, plenty is a unit of measurement, kind of like inches is to a metricator. Alrighty, down in here, you want to make sure that this is extra rough and ruined. This is a part right here that when most people, when they're ruining a guitar, they forget to ruin that part as much as they've ruined every other part. I think this whole thing is uniformly scuffed up and ruined. Let's give, give it the once over again. Oh yeah, that's devastated. Oh, now we get to the top. Isn't this nice wood? It used to be. Oh, wait a minute. I almost forgot to protect the bridge. We might want to protect this bridge. All right, there we go. I want to make sure that if there's any piece sticking out, we want to carefully push that in like that. You see that? Da -da -da. Hey, this is a pretty good way to mess this up, right? Look at that. Just as long as you don't leave any real deep gouges. Oh, there's nothing like messing up a good rosette, right? See that? Look at that. Oh, yeah. Now the art starts. Hey, that top is pretty strong. But not strong enough. Okay, let's stay on track here. We have a substitution. We have window and door foam. I'm substituting for red can of paint. Okay. Let's take this off of here very carefully. There we go. We'll rip this off here. I guess this stuff is expensive. It costs a lot of money. I'm going to shake it off. Shake it good thing, shake it good. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll show you how to do it now. All right, you see this? Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Okay, now pay attention. Watch this. You're not going to believe this. You've never seen this before. I guarantee you, look. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wait, there's something, I think. Yeah, look at that. All right, there we go. Scrambled eggs. All right, this is what a guitar looks like before it pops. Let's relieve the pressure here. Okay, we have the surgical removal of the sound hole. Look at that. Perfect. Alrighty, let's get this thing out and painted.
All right, guys, we are back inside, and we are going to wrap this thing up. So kick back and watch the details come together. Wow, you hear all that noise? It sounds like my neighbors are having a circus, which seems to be the theme here. I am done with it. Um, this is by far the most useless, worst, junkiest, amazingly, utterly, disamazingly awesome thing you have ever seen. You need to sit down. You need to pick up a Bible. Coveting is sinful. Are you ready to see the clown junk pile? Ooh, look at that. Okay. We're going to put it on the bench. And we're going to go through the fine details because there are many fine details on this one. But um, I need to warn you there are no strings. There are no tuners. This is a prop guitar. It's virtually indestructible. And um, it's got more glitter on it. It's got so much glitter on it that Liberace and Michael Jackson are going, dude, what are you doing? That's enough. Anyway, let's put it on the bench and take a real close look at this thing. Ooh, look at all that glitter. I'm signaling the neighbors to be quiet. 
and stop interrupting my filming. I guess it is Halloween or something. Okay, Chick Flick Teal Pointer had to get in on this one. Hey, guys. Um, but we're going to run up the front here. Look at that. Oh, yeah, clown nose have to have that. Um, let's start off with the incredible Ronnie McDonnie Mango Caution Yellow Fire Engine Red Sunburst with the 2021 Nickel. There we go. Coming right on down, we have the American Flag Coin Purse, boy. Oh, yeah, back to the guitar. Now, we have the Clown Matchbook from 19. 40. We have something from Portugal. Somehow that's significant. And we have a matchbook coupon to save 80 cents off a dollar 80 admission to Playtown. So you could burn your lungs up with 20 cigarettes and then save 80 cents. That's great. Okay. Look at the sound hole. It's very dark in there. And there's no strings, like I said. There's no tuners. This is a, just a prop. I think it's going to be actually in a circus. And, uh, yeah, bridge is red, but no strings. Completely and utterly disamazing. Okay, let's turn this around. And um, the back isn't usually very exciting, but... You see some of that finish term used loosely detail on that sunburst. And then if you look really close, this thing has glitter all over it everywhere. So when it's being slung around under the big top, um, you're going to be able to see it. And people are going to be, dude, that is awesome. So it does have a real Circus Vargas poster on it. I actually, I actually saw the circus. I saw Mr. V's Big Top Dream, and that dream was, that's right, to have a Paul Miro Junk Pow guitar sticker on his poster. Dream come true, people. Alrighty, isn't that incredible? Incredibly useless, incredibly impractical, but incredible nonetheless. Oh, while I was prepping the setup for that last scene. I went and talked to the neighbors. All that screaming is really crying because they can't get to this guitar. So what are we going to do with this thing? Well, I've been looking for a reason to run away, and I think I'm going to run away to the circus because that's the only place I can find some clown <laughs> that would actually be seen with this thing. I'm serious. I'm going to the circus. Let's go right now. Just a minute. Okay, now I'm ready. Did you know that I used to set up carnival rides when I was a teenager? Yeah, I hear you calling me carny. Well, guess what? You're right. Okay, let's go to the circus right now. <laughs> 